Hello. I uh, just wanted to, had something on my heart I wanted to talk about. Um, spiritual gifts. And I just wanted to give, some, you know, a little glory to God and credit to God that for a spiritual gift I believe I have that He gave me since I was a kid, and that's a gift to find things. And um, I'm not sure where I'm going with this talk. This is about the fifth time I've made this. The phones rang or the dogs ran off or... <laughs> Sorry. Oh, by the way, uh, I spent $12 and bought this lapel mic with a 16-foot cord. You know, high-tech for me. And here I'm 45 or 50 videos or more. And it finally occurred to me, get yourself a lapel mic. <laughs> right? <laughs> so I got a lapel mic so I don't have to shout to be heard. And it seems to work pretty well. And uh, really, the technology that goes into this uh, YouTube channel... I use a digital ed editing program that you can get for free on the internet. You got to practice with it. There's a learning curve to it. Uh, here's this $12 lapel mic, which I highly recommend. If you want to spend more money, you can get a Bluetooth one, but I couldn't really come up with a scenario where I really needed a Bluetooth lapel mic where I'm usually stationary. Um, and I figure it's more trouble free to have it directly connected. I got a tripod that my cell phone's on, which is nothing fancy. It's a Note 8. Um, the tripod costs about $20, and it's a really good one. And it, it's got a, a cell phone holder that clips right in there. So it really doesn't take a lot of technology to get set up with this. But it's been on my heart lately um, that I have a gift of finding things, and I've believed that since I was a child. That is some kind of a compact, a gift, an agreement that God gave me that I have the gift of finding things. But lately it's occurred to me that if you have a gift from God, you should be using it for God and His work. So I'm putting this video out there. That's my effort to try to do that. Um, this isn't about like spiritual gifts. Uh, the Bible, you could spend a lot of sermons, people could do sermons on the gifts God gives. Honestly, there's the spiritual gifts of discernment, gift of tongues, the gift of love, the greatest gift of all, uh, the gift of His Son, and, and He could go on and on. I'm just going to talk about my experience with it and give God some credit. And I also want to go way out on a limb and do something I've never done before. And uh, that's to offer anybody's hearing this. If you're missing something, if you lost something, or someone, uh, missing people count too, uh, shoot me a message. And tell me what you're missing or something, and I'll uh, pray that it's found. I'm not making any guarantees or promises here, but I am putting it out there, trying to use my gift that I believe God gave me for, you know, other than myself. Because I tell you, it's, it's, it's unnatural. Maybe it's because I believe it. Maybe it's a faith thing, you know. But like just yesterday, two days ago, I lost my driver's license, the card with my picture on it. I haven't been able to find that for about a month. And I looked everywhere for it. And I finally, I was about ready to give up and go to the New York State DMV and pay the money and get a new license made because you need it. For different things and so before i did that i prayed to god lord help me find my driver's license please you know i do the cross because i believe in the trinity father son holy ghost and i believe in the power of the trinity it's just what i do and right after i prayed that there was a bunch of old clothes clean clothes i don't want to give the wrong impression piled up on my dog kennel in my living room where my dog has his kennel. And I walked over to that and I lifted those clothes up and there it was. Right? I wasn't even, just, I kind of get like absent-minded when I find these things, I'm kind of blank and I just, he just leads me to it. You know, I just lifts it up, 
right there. I put my hand right there, and there's my driver's license. It's been there for who knows how long. And like about a month ago, two months, uh, more than that, like three months ago, I lost my cell phone, lo and behold. And um, I'm not made of money, so losing my cell phone is kind of a big deal. They're, they're kind of expensive item. And my cell phone is like a lot of people's, charcoal gray in color. Well, I looked and looked and looked and looked and looked and looked and looked everywhere. Couldn't find it. And I started backtracking where I'd been that day. And I wound up earlier that day, I was at the garage where the mechanics, where they work on cars, getting my car inspected. And I was sitting on a picnic table waiting outside, waiting for him to get done. And um, it wasn't anywhere around there. And that was pretty much my last option. I couldn't find it anywhere. And I was about to get, I was getting into my car from that place in their driveway. And the driveway was all crushed gravel, the same color, dark gray as my phone. And um, just before I got my car, I prayed to God, Lord, help me find my cell phone, please. And then it's like he took my head and just went like that seriously because I was going to get my car and I'm pretty much given up but I said that prayer Lord help me find my cell phone and right after I asked that my head went that way and my eyes went right out about 20 feet and there was my cell phone laying out in their way out in their dry in their parking lot which I never would have uh, thought it would have been there because I wasn't anywhere near that I must have laid it on top of my car and it must have flown off a ways when I left. And there it was. And uh, again, it was, I was just going to get my car, but it's like, nope. It's like, God, look that way. <laughs> there it was. But that's how it happens. And with missing people, I'm going out on a bit of a limb here because I don't claim to be psychic or anything. But I read a lot of news and stuff. And when I see somebody's missing, it's almost every day you read it, you know, and you think the worst often when it's little kids or a woman or something. And I see somebody's missing. And I pray, Lord, may they be found. And if they're alive, Lord, comfort them and protect them and let them know your presence is there and that people care about them and are looking for them. And if somebody's done something to them, as in killed them, which is the case, may they still be found, as in their body, and may whoever's harmed them be found as well. And by that I meant found and found out. And I just pray that simple prayer and let it be. And I almost always read days, weeks, months later that this person's been found alive or their body's been found and the person that did it has been, suspects have been, you know, arrested or found out. And it's you know, some resolution. So, I'm going out a bit on a limb on that. But you talk about gifts, and I hear people say often that this thing with all these paranormal stories that I have is some kind of gift. I never saw it as a gift, honestly, because they've it's interrupted my life quite a bit. And um, I don't know. It's not like it's something I'm going to try to use, you know, to contact the dead. Uh, I don't think you're supposed to do that. I think it's wise. So I really don't know what to make of that whole gift, you know, clairvoyance, I guess. But I know I have the gift of finding things, and I've believed that since I was a child. That was my secret little treasure God gave me amongst many. I think... I believe he gives everybody gifts. Uh, I don't think he puts us into this world and says, here you are, here on earth. Have fun, you know, give it a heck. I think he arms us each with our own little talents and gifts, you know. Each of us. It could be cooking, could be anything. Could be could be super smart, you know, or could be a good singer, or good musician, or artist, or could be very good with children, very compassionate, a very good listener. It's all kinds of gifts, you know, human gifts. And we're talking gifts of the Spirit. That's a whole other topic. It's not what I'm doing here. 
I recall my mom, uh, when I was a teenager, she said, son, everybody has to have a philosophy in their life. And she said, mine is to live, is to love. And I'm thinking, all right, I believe it, because she really tried hard to love everybody. And I, I really believe it. And by that, she meant, she meant that as she lived through her life here, she would try harder each day to love people more the way Christ loved them, to see them as Christ saw them. And she said, what's yours, son? You know, I think she was hoping I would say, mine is to live, is to love as well. Uh, no, I said, no. Mine is to live, is to learn. And she didn't like that. <laughs> she wanted me to say, live is to love. She says, well, love is a higher force and all this. And I'm like, yeah, I get that. But that's yours. Mine is to live, is to learn. And I stood by that. And God says another gift thing I wanted to mention here. The scripture that I like is that, and I'll try to find it and put it up at the end of this. Is God says, if anybody wants wisdom, just ask for it. He gives wisdom freely. And I always like that. And uh, so periodically I'd ask God, it could be wisdom on a specific problem. Lord, I don't know what to do here. Grant me wisdom on this, this insurmountable problem I'm facing or to, for myself or other people. Or just, um, hey, I want a free dose of wisdom. Make me a smarter person. I ask him for it. Lord, grant me some more wisdom. Thank you, Lord. And I just do that in faith, you know, and it's a, it's a free gift. I mean, God gives a lot of gifts. Of course, the greatest gift is his son. Jesus Christ. But I'm just talking about some other things here. And I think everybody has gifts. It could be, like I said, it could be mine is gift is finding things. I believe it is. And um, it could, yours could be anything. It could be the same. It could be anything. Of listening, of talking, persuading. Hopefully in an honest way. Um, music, art, writing, gardening. Could be all kinds of things. So, what else was there? No, that's pretty much it. Um, if you have anything that's missing, we'll see how it goes, because I've never done this before, honestly, ever. Never done anything like this. But um, feel, please feel free to um, leave a comment and tell me what, what's missing. And usually, in my experience, things are found occasionally they're not found um, and sounds like a cop-out but when something's not found I consider it's what I call hard lost as in it's in the county landfill or something to that effect but that's usually not the case uh, maybe it wasn't meant to be found but that sounds like a cop-out but I'm just being honest but nine times out of ten it's found so We'll just forget that bit of reasoning that I just said. We'll just take it on simple faith. So if you're missing something, uh, please feel free to shoot me a comment and uh, let me know what you're missing. <laughs> and when it's found, give thanks to God. I do. Like when I found my driver's license, my, my heart leapt because I knew God. it was God. He, because I've, I wasn't even thinking of looking there. I wasn't even thinking about that. And as soon as I asked him to help me find this, I walked right over, lifted the clothes up, and there it was. I put my hand right down on it. And that's how it happens a lot. Either I'll, I'll ask God, help me find something, and I'll walk right over, and I'll look, and there it is. Or I'll, I'll put my hand under something, and there it is. You know? Or if it's a missing person, uh, sadly, I'll read that their, their body was found, and that uh, whoever did it to them was caught found out that both they and their abductor were found, murder or whatever, or that that person was found alive, you know. So that's all. I just wanted to share that, um, and I wanted to test out my lapel mic, which I like because I don't have to shout. I should. Here I am, 45 or 50 videos, and, you know, I've only got two more of these ghost stories to tell. I have to tell you this. I got to tell the story about Skeen Manor, 
and that's going to be a two-part. And I got to tell you the story about um, Bigfoot, a demonic thing, and that's going to be two or three-part story. But I only have pretty much it, thankfully, and then we'll get into some other things. But I wanted to relate this, so uh, that's all. I've gone on enough. Now I'm going to grill some, go find some steaks and put them on here and grill some steaks and chicken. So if you're missing something, you need some help, ask God yourself to help him find it. Better, if not, ask me and I'll ask, ask him for you. Because since I was a child, I've always felt that this was kind of an, something special. He had an agreement with me that he'll help me find things that are lost. Believe in faith. Simple faith. All right, that's that. Thank you. Till next time, take care of yourself, people. Always good to hear from you.